A woman who was 10 months pregnant had a girdle tightly around her belly. The nurse even found out that she was pregnant only after unbuckling the girdle. What's even more outrageous is that the nurse examined the woman and found that her cervical was dilated. This means that she is about to give birth, but she didn't want the nurse to call any of her family at this point, especially her parents. Elaine pleaded with the nurse not to contact anyone. She was only 17 years old and pregnant out of wedlock, and her parents didn't even know she was pregnant. The nurse decided to deliver Elaine's baby first after briefing the doctor on the basic situation. After two hours of labor, Elaine's baby girl was born. Elaine listened to her daughter's loud cries and finally smiled. Although it was hard, she couldn't wait to hold the baby. She would never let her baby be taken away from her this time. Elaine was very fond of her newborn daughter and did not want to let go of her. Even after the nurse told her to eat some food first for energy, she wouldn't let go of the baby as if she would lose the baby if she let go. The nurse also discovered Elaine's stitching scars during the delivery. This was not the first time Elaine had given birth. Please you come away from me. Say goodbye. Elaine gave birth to her first child when she was 15 years old, but her parents secretly sent the baby away for the sake of Elaine's future. This became Elaine's lifelong regret, so this time she tightened her belly with a girdle and kept her parents in the dark about her 9-month pregnancy. She did this so they wouldn't take her baby away from her again. But now that the baby was born, the nurse didn't think she could keep it from her family forever. Elaine should face up to the problem and solve it. So Elaine said the nurse could let them know, but she also had to tell them that she would never give up the baby. Soon the doctor visited Elaine's parents. They were also informed that their daughter had just given birth to her second child. Elaine's parents were shocked. They couldn't believe that their daughter had concealed her nine-month pregnancy from their eyes. They had sent their daughter to the best education for her at a young age so that she would know right from wrong. But they couldn't understand how it could have turned out this way. This time they still decided to send the child to the same adoption agency. But the doctor then added a note about Elaine's attitude. Elaine was determined not to give her daughter away again. Well, unless she has herself a husband tucked away somewhere. But what they didn't seem to know was that Elaine had been cheated on by a man. And that Elaine didn't want to get married. Elaine just wanted a child. After a few days, her parents finally came to the hospital. Her parents still wanted Elaine to give up the baby and let Elaine continue her studies. When she graduates, she will marry a good man and they had to cover up such a scandal for their business. At that moment, the nurse came in with the crib. Her father got up immediately and stood by the window. Her mother turned her head away and wouldn't look at the newborn. The parents were fed up with Elaine and felt that she was hopeless. They had a breakdown in communication this time. Due to Elaine's stubbornness, the parents decided not to interface with her decision. A few days later, they took Elaine's luggage to the hospital and left in a hurry. The hospital nurses were worried about Elaine's future. How would a 17-year-old mother with no financial resources raise a newborn baby? But Elaine kept an optimistic attitude. She believed that as long as she had her hands and feet, she would be able to support herself and her baby. Eventually, Elaine was able to get help from the National Association of Unwed Mothers with the help of a nurse. They assisted Elaine until her child was five years old. Elaine finally kept her daughter. She also decided to get a job as a typist. Since she had chosen the hardest path for her happiness, she had to take responsibility for her choice. But I believe her steadfast motherly love will make her to grow up to be a good mother. This little angelic looking baby was born without any limbs. The mother, who was over 40, decided to have another child. This time she went to the maternity checkup every other week and didn't dare to eat again. It was because Ross had taken thalidomide during her last pregnancy. Back then, thalidomide was used to treat pregnancy sickness, but it led to the birth of many Seals children. Ross's last negligent mistake resulted in the permanent disability of his lovely daughter Susan and her confinement to a wheelchair. Susan has difficulty walking smoothly and normally, even with prosthetics. She is often teased by other children when she goes to school in this condition. Teachers would also overprotect Susan and prevent her from participating in activities with other students to avoid harm. Eventually, the school expelled Susan from school. All this made Ross, as a mother, blame herself. The doctor came to her that day because the results of the maternity test showed that Ross was slightly anemic. 
that Dr. sent her iron supplements, but her husband refused it. He has said that Ross would not eat anything from the pharmacy during this pregnancy. Ross needed to punish herself in this way. Ross practiced walking with his daughter every day, just to make her life like a normal person, but being cooped up in the house every day. Susan yearned for the outside world. Susan looked out the window and saw her siblings playing freely in the snow. Her eyes were full of envy when her brother saw this. He ran over and helped Susan down the stairs and let her feel the white snow flying in the sky. She was told to stay where she was, but Susan couldn't resist the urge to join them in the fun. She fell backwards as she was moving. Susan ended up with several stitches in the back of her head. Ross's heart broke for her poor daughter, but she had to hold back her tears for the health of the baby in her belly. Ross, who was pregnant with his fourth child, was very worried about her family. Then she came to the hospital to be with his daughter, Susan and read her a story to put her to sleep. However, as Ross approached the birth, she began to blame herself and feel anxious. She felt that if she had another baby, Susan would feel betrayed because Susan needed more love and care from her parents. The nurse also reassured her that this happens to children all the time. They will learn to share and to give up their space. Ross gradually calmed down with the nurse's reassurance. After a few hours of labor and delivery, Ross welcomed a new baby into the family. Ross held the baby tightly in her arms and carefully checked his limbs. She finally relaxed after 10 months of stress. Susan was also very happy about the arrival of her baby brother. She held her sweet brother in her arms. The whole family took a happy photo together. The woman was pregnant with twins but still wore 10 centimeters high heels. When the nurse heard her complaining of back pain, she kindly reminded her that it was better to change to flat shoes. But Sarah says her husband likes her in heels. He prefers her perfect leg line. The nurse couldn't do anything to stop her. This is not the first time she has seen such a hopeless romantic woman. The nurse then said that she would visit Sarah's home afterwards to get a better understanding of the environment so that she could deliver her baby. But Sarah had a difficult look on her face. At that moment, a patient suddenly fainted. The nurse went to help and asked Sarah to wait for a while. But Sarah left the hospital secretly at that moment. Shortly afterwards, Sarah, who was home alone, felt a pain in her abdomen. She immediately went downstairs and called the hospital for help and gave her address with difficulty. Chummy told her to hurry home. They would be there in 15 minutes. Sarah had to ask them to come quickly. Sarah hung up the phone and struggled to move back. But the pain was so intense that she couldn't move an inch. And then she collapsed on the ground. The nurse was riding her bike to her house. However, she dropped her delivery bag on the way down the slope. The bag was then crushed by a car. She had to rush to the mother's home first. The nurse helped the mother up the stairs. Sarah's water broke in the middle of the walk. The nurse managed to get the woman home, only to find a dark room. It was so dark and damp that it was impossible to see anything. The nurse then lit the room with candles. She prepared towels and hot water and then prepared to deliver the baby like this. With a hiss and a push from Sarah, a lovely baby was born, and the mother had just taken the baby into her arms when a sharp pain came from her abdomen. It looks like her second child is on the way. Sarah finally gave birth to twins after another difficult labor. Congratulations. This mother is a boy just like the first. And because there were not enough towels, the nurse had to take off her coat and wrap the baby tightly. Sarah looked at the two identical looking children at this moment feel extremely happy. But then the last candle was burned out. The house became dark again. The nurse wanted to go downstairs and get the bike light. But she tried unsuccessfully for a long time. And finally, she carried the whole bike upstairs. The mother was in pain and was about to pass out. The nurse examined Sarah and found that she had a baby in her belly. <laughs> the pain was so intense that Sarah had to cry while giving birth. The night was exhausting for both of them. A few minutes later, Sarah's last child was born. The nurse took off the last piece of clothing to wrap the third child. And that was the end of an extraordinary night. A newlywed couple welcomes triplets. This means more than just happiness for the couple of modest means. They have a lot of challenges ahead of them, but I believe they will give each other warmth and live the rest of their lives together.